Hi everybody, it's Terry Ryder from Hot Spotting, uh, bringing you the special weekly feature that we have at this time every week, which is Hot Spot of the Week. And this week I want to focus on one of the all too often overlooked regional cities in Australia. I think as, um, as investors and in all sorts of other ways, we tend to overlook regional Australia for its uh, importance to the economy, for its lifestyle and um, for its um, potential for good real estate markets. Um, tonight's um, location is um, a quite a substantial city. It's growing, has a diverse economy, has lots of affordable real estate, has good links to its capital city, and is currently attracting a lot of attention from investors from that capital city. And uh, its real estate prices are growing, including some suburbs which have um, increased their median house prices by more than 20% in the last 12 months. Now, where am I talking about? I'm talking about Ballarat and Victoria. And it's one of the uh, locations that features currently in our national top 10 best buys report for all of the previously mentioned reasons and a whole lot of others. Um, Ballarat, as I said, one of those really good solid regional cities that uh, we tend to overlook and places like Ballarat should not be overlooked. Um, it's it's a great city. It's got wonderful historical fabric. It's a growing city. It's got a strong and diverse economy. It's creating jobs. Um, it's got a good lifestyle. It's um, within commuting distance of Melbourne. Uh, it's well linked to Melbourne through good rail links and um, good rail links. The, the $5 billion regional rail link, which was compared to a couple of years ago, has improved that and more has been spent on those rail links to improve them further. Um, and it, it just offers a lot, um, particularly compared to its capital city, because affordability is a big issue and uh, rental yields are another issue. Um, in Ballarat, um, there are uh, suburbs with meeting house prices in the 200,000s, although suburbs in the 300,000s are more common. But compared to pretty much anywhere in Melbourne, that's very affordable. Um, you have um, the ability to get uh, rental yields um, between five and five, five and a half percent, if you look around, um, and um, there's some, been some pretty good price growth. Uh, what's happening is that um, both home buyers and investors out of Melbourne are increasing looking at places like Ballarat. In fact, this is a trend out of Melbourne that uh, regional towns and cities um, pretty close to Melbourne are attracting a lot of strong. Um, population growth, people looking for both affordability and for a different kind of lifestyle uh, while still being able to remain connected to the capital city, Melbourne. It's, it's feasible to, to buy a very affordable house in Ballarat and still have a job in Melbourne because you can commute um, if you don't mind commuting. Uh, certainly not for me, but for a number of people, it's, it's acceptable. But of course, if you live in Ballarat, you don't need to be thinking about jobs in Melbourne because Ballarat is a very, very strong economy and a strong city creating plenty of its own jobs. Right now, it has a population above 100,000 and it's projected that by the year 2040, its population will have doubled to 200,000. Um, we always look for diverse economies uh, when we're looking at um, good places to buy investment property, particularly in regional areas. And Ballarat certainly has that. I mean, it's 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 got a kind of a mining history, but that's um, going way back uh, these days. Um, its economic drivers include manufacturing, tourism, agriculture. Um, it's got an emerging hub for information technology. It's got quite a big education sector. It's got two university campuses, um, Federation University Australia and also the Australian Catholic University, it's got a TAFE Institute, lots of schools. Um, so that's part of it. Um, quite a, a lot being spent on infrastructure. That's something we always look for. Um, uh, markets that are going to give us growth. Um, the Western Highway duplication is going to be costing, uh, it's actually underway and it's about $500 million. Um, further railway upgrades and the, um, the links to Melbourne uh, $550 million being spent. There are um, a number of very, very major wind farms in the general area of Ballarat uh, in planning. Uh, one that's costing over a billion dollars, another that's costing $950 million, another costing $400 million. So that industry alone is going to be massive in terms of creating economic activity and jobs. 
uh, in and around Ballarat. Then there's a whole raft of uh, small to medium sized projects that are some of which are commercial, some of which are retail, some of them are industrial, some of them are small infrastructure projects, education projects, uh, sport and rec recreation projects. There are some major housing estates happening, master plan communities. Um, it, it really is um, a sort of a microcosm of a very strong and active capital city. It just happens to be a regional centre uh, with a population of about 100,000 and um, lots of affordable real estate and um, lots of interest uh, by both home buyers and investors, particularly people coming out of Melbourne who are kind of priced out of that market or looking for a different lifestyle. So it's the sort of place that I think that um, investors increasingly should be focusing on. I think, you know, we're coming into a phase where we're going to be seeing actually more price growth happening. in the regional markets than in the capital cities as Sydney and Melbourne wind down. There's still capital cities like Hobart and Canberra showing pretty strong growth, but increasingly it's um, the major regional centres like um, Newcastle and New South Wales, like Geelong and Victoria, uh, the Sunshine Coast in Queensland and places like that where we're starting to see the significant price growth happening. And um, Ballarat seems to be following that trend. Um, there's three of its suburbs which have had medium price growth above 20% in the last 12 months and others there are more around sort of 10 or 12%. Um, Long-term growth rates are pretty solid in many of those suburbs and the rental yields much, much better than you get in Melbourne and the other capital cities. So all in all, it's a pretty good package, really worth considering. Um, certainly it's very high on my list and next places that I might be interested in uh, investing and um, yeah, I like it a lot and uh, I think it's really worthy of your consideration. Um, if you'd like to find out more about this or other locations, um, go to the hotspotting.com.au website and check out our location reports page. We have a report on Ballarat, we have a report on um, other regional markets around Victoria and right around Australia as well as capital city suburbs and, and various other markets. So I recommend that to you if you want to find out a little bit more places like Ballarat or anywhere in Australia then just use those reports are um, $55 really good value for money jam-packed with good information facts and figures analysis commentary and information that's relevant to the economies and the property markets and all those places so that's it for now um, Terry Ryder from Hotspotting signing off I will talk to you again soon